next, it's a flyweight matchup between Jessica Evil Eye and JoJo Calderon. So a real possibility, DC, in this matchup that she's going to try to take advantage of what would appear to be an obvious edge on the feet given the Muay Thai back. Yeah, she has a phenomenal background in Muay Thai. She's a great counter striker, allows you to forward pressure into her, and she will drive big knees into you. As she drives those knees, you start to try to evade. Here comes the kick. Here comes the double knees. And don't get stuck across the side of the octagon. She will grab that Muay Thai clinch, and once there, yeah. she is just vicious driving those knees to the body, to the legs, and when you start to worry about them coming low, she starts spinning you and hitting you in the face with knees just like Anderson Silva did to Rich Franklin. It's a sight to behold when a person understands Muay Thai at this level. Yeah, well put. It is all volume, it is all pressure. She truly fights like she is double parked outside. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC, and I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day, First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions, has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree, and, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Both fighters are 34, and I will have a one-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon, we find Ladies Usman. and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Flyweight division, introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderwood. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a Cleveland, Ohio, USA, Jessica Evil Eye! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Well, the tension and the buzz is palpable as this fight gets started. Interesting stylistic matchup. Your thoughts on what we might see? This is a big-time matchup between a fantastic striker and a great all-around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. Oh, combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid and pitiful. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, she found the target there. That'll work. So 31 total strikes and counting that have now landed for Jessica Ott. Oh, and there's another leg kick just out, right? I mean, now she has sort of rendered her opponent, as you see the damage, a, a one-legged fight. She is fighting a one-legged fighter, a wounded gazelle right in front of a right. hung lion. That is not a great position to be. We got a fight, folks. Start to see some of the damage caught underneath that right eye. Back to the feet. Look at the turn 
Jones in that kick. Well, she told us she wanted to kick more. Look, you can see it. Look, she got her. Oh, that one dropped her. Well, she's up, but she looks hurt. Oh, big left. Now a knee. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch she has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. Again, back into this position. Some nice back and forth action here. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Does she have a soccer back? How about the kick there? I mean, she must have a soccer back. Who kicks that hard? Here we go, folks. The start of round two. Jessica I. Let's go first. And on the other side, JoJo Cole. Dig and kick. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Attacking both sides now. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Oh, she got that gorgeous knee to find that midsection. I'm not sure how many more of those you want to eat. You cannot take any of these strikes. Great job finding a weakness in exploiting. 94 total strikes have now landed for Jessica Ah. And in terms of the accuracy, they're landing at a 58% clip against Joanne Cole. Oh, good series of punches by her there. She's in her zone. She's flowing right now. Nice punch by Calderwood. behind that leg kick. Well, she lands the strike there, but safe to say DC not necessarily one for the highlight. No, not her best punches, but what do you imagine? What do you think is gonna happen when you throw everything in your heart? Oh, arsenal? huge right fight. hand! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Not sure she could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight, to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jessica Ibra. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. 